Hello world and welcome. Welcome back to some of you. I am Karhu, the Great Bear of the North, and this is Cities Skylines featuring the After Dark and Snowfall expansion packs. And this lovely map that you see before you is going to be the beginning of a brand new series. I'll call it Volume 2, if you will, of my Cities Skylines Let's Play. We're going to be playing the, a the Bay of Avon. Now, at the end of my Nova Venezia series, we I had a little bit of a uh, survey of asking what kind of uh, towns or series people wanted to see from me, and I got one vote. And that one voter said, Shakespearean-themed valleys. So here is the Bay of Avon. Nice little pun on the Bard of Avon. So this is the Bay of Avon down here, and basically what I'm going to do is... There we go. All these little valley areas, like this one, this one, uh, this larger one up here, this through way down here, down here, all these little places are going to be their own little tiny li towns. And each one is going to be themed uh, a a around a particular play. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off right over here, this section. It's a relatively flat area, which makes it good for a starting city. Like, it's, it's, it's very flat. It's already been... You know, this is, I believe it's intended to be the starting tile. We've got a highway connection that actually goes under the mountains. We've got a railway connection that also goes under this mountain range right down here. You can actually see the hole where he had to... Obi-Wan Kenobi, the maker of this fantastic map, had to dig in order to make the... the to make the connections down here. Oh, there we go. All the way lost in the mists of space and time. And so I'm going to start down here. And the first play that I'm going to be using is Richard III. Not, I don't have any particular affinity for Richard III, it's just I, I have the list of names of different Shakespearean places in, uh, in a Word document, uh, and I went through the list, and, and I decided that I like the names of Richard III's places a little bit better, such as, I mean, this is going to be Pomfret Castle. Pomfret Castle. And it's just going to be a nice little ruined castle because the theme of this map is that this used to be a series of little logging and, and industrial towns and things like that. And then a storm came in. You can see all the downed trees and whatnot down here. You can see the, the it's actually wiped away roads entirely for most of this up until here. Oh, there's a little, little mountain stream going into a lake. Oh, that... See, this is gorgeous. I can just set this as my wallpaper. Like a movable wallpaper. I didn't even know if that's a thing. That's my screensaver. I can just watch this. Like, this is great. It's by Obi-Wan Kenobi, and just through the sheer brilliance of this map and the attention to detail, this is easily my favorite map in... I'm fairly certain Obi-Wan Kenobi's become my favorite map maker on the workshop. Because this is... the detail in here is fantastic. The little mountain streams uh, with the rocks that are placed and all these things, and, and, and the wildlife. Like, we've got, we've got a moose just wandering around. It's very cool. So, if you're not familiar with Obi-Wan Kenobi's work, definitely check him out. I'm going to say him because Obi-Wan Kenobi, the screen name, is male. But if Obi-Wan Kenobi is female in real life, I apologize. Just somebody correct me one way or the other, and I'll use the appropriate gender pronoun. But for now, um, definitely give him more love on... on uh, on the on, on the workshop because this stuff is absolutely fantastic and what I'm going to do is this area is going to be I did a little bit of looking around on the map earlier and this area right here this this ore area is going to be um, it's going to be its own little mining company I'm just going to draw this out like this like this and see the thing about um, Richard the third the play, is that it's about the War of the Roses. So you've got two different rival houses, the Lancasters and the Yorks. And this train line that I'm going to do down here, and my mouse has stopped working for some reason. I don't know. But I'm going to fix that, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I'm batteried up and ready to go. So as I was saying, um, yeah, Richard III is a show is a play about the uh, Lancasters and the Yorks. And I'm going to actually have this rail come down here a little bit later on, and uh, and it will divide this area into two, the Lancaster side and the York side. Or maybe the Lancaster side and the York side, I don't know. And the Tudors are going to be based around here. 
and, and it's going to be kind of like a, a either side of the tracks have this rivalry thing going on. So if this is going to be, let's say, the uh, Richard the Third side, because this is the guy that the play is actually named after, and so I'm going to say that he's got got the mining district. So he was Richard, Duke of Gloucester, Gloucester Mining Corporation. There we go. And that's he's going to have all of this area. So then this side will be the that was the Yorks, right? Yeah, I think they were the Yorks. Yeah. Edward the Fourth was York, and then all of them. So let's build this. Let's just see the edge of this uh, this little zone, like here. Oops. There we go. There. Let's get there. We go. That's the edge of that zone, and we'll continue that up just to. Oops. Let's continue that up there. There, that's the edge of that zone. And we're going to get a road, four-lane road with, let's put turning lanes in through it. Um, let's say it goes out from there. Uh, let's do something like that. There we go. And we'll get the one-way roads. Here, let's turn off that. Let's get the one-way roads branching out to there, and branching down to there. And that looks kind of silly right now, but I will fix that a little bit later on. A little bit later on. So this is the Gloucester Mining Corporation. So I'll eventually start filling that in with some, with some mines and whatever. But let's also, while we're at this, let's continue this road down there. Yeah, let's say all the way down to there. We're going to have another road like this that just kind of branches off of this and it skirts this farming territory up until, I don't know, we'll say there. Because we'll say that the train tracks will skirt like the southern part of this territory. Because since he was the king to start off with, Richard III would have Gloucester, the, mi the Gloucester Mining Corporation. He'd have the, the, the farm fields. Let's do that, just, let's do this, and one of the locations in Richard III is a camp near Tamworth, so we will call this Tamworth Farms. There we go, and we'll actually change that, we will make that too before I forget, boom, it is now, it is now a um, farming zone. So the farms, we've got the mining corp, good, good. That is a fantastic place to start. Let's just continue this out here. And I apologize if this is too slow a pace for some of you. I know I've had that comment in the past and I apologize for that, but this is the pace that I work at. It's very haphazard, kind of very random. It doesn't really make a whole bunch of sense, but um, this is how I roll. So, unfortunately, you're just going to have to live with that. But, so this area in here, let's make a new zone. Actually, here, let's pause this so that I don't keep losing money. Let's just take this zone, the manor district. No, this is going to be... Come on, there we go. Let's just follow that. And let's fill that in. Then as soon as I fill it in, of course, it starts to look derpy. Okay. Let's... There we go. Oh, that's because I created a new one. That's why. Okay. Well, the Robin District... No, 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 no. You're not going to be the Robin District. You're going to be Banyards! Which is... I don't know. I actually forget which side of the, the, the Richard III characters actually had Banyards, but that's what it's going to be. So, because I have the unlock all option open, I need to, to start building everything. So let's start with a small school. That's going to be the... There we go. There's our little elementary school, and it is going to be named after... 
Edward of Wales. No, it's going to be after Richard. It's going to be Edward the Fourth Elementary, who was actually Richard the Third's father, Edward the Fourth, and his death caused the War of the Roses to begin. If I recall correctly, I'm not an expert in in um, in British history by any stretch of the imagination. So, if I'm wrong about that, I I apologize. But anyways, there is the 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 little school. We're gonna have a small playground anywhere that I can add to it. Come on, can I? See, this is the problem with me making all my curved roads. Is that it's really difficult to to build places. So, anyways, this area between the playground and the school is going to be a park. So let us build roads off of that. Oops. Let's build that. Nope, can't build that there. There we go. There's that street. Let's build that down there. There we go. So those are going... Ah, I don't like where that street goes. So this is the side of the park. Let's bring it out. No, can't bring it out quite there. Can I bring it out? Okay, that's where I'm going to have to bring that out. Oops. How do I... There we go. There we go. And then, actually... That was too long. Let's just bring that to the edge of the park. There we go. And now let's... Curve... No, let's not curve that around. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, yeah, so let's start filling in this this Banyards area. It's just going to be a small little district. I'm sorry for the fact that I'm meandering and I'm not making any sense. But uh, that's, like I said, that's how I roll. There are plenty of other videos on YouTube that I strongly recommend. If you want something that's a little bit more um, fast-paced and dynamic, um, but I'm I'm not that guy. I'm sorry. Let's make that. Oops. Uh, can I make this as close to 90? 89.9. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And let's turn that down there. There we go. So this is the Banyards. We're going to actually bring another street in through there because this is going to start off being like a little industrial housing area. So the houses are going to be a little bit smaller than than normal. Well, smaller than normal, smaller than max size. This is normal for them. There's nothing wrong with that. There we go. So there's all of that. I'm actually going to extend this out down here just a little bit more before we go down there. There we go. Lots of two depth houses, which is fantastic. That's what I'm going for. We will continue this street up to there. Continue this up to... there. And then we'll do another kind of similar looking cul-de-sac, not cul-de-sac, crescent, I guess, just to build that through there. There we go. It's a lot more free-flowing and random than what most people are used to in their sim city in their sim cities this isn't sim city this is much better than sim city um in their city's skylines but that's that's okay that's okay and then we'll get some streets nope not there we'll get some streets down around here that are just right off of the right off where the industrial zone is. So these guys are going to have even smaller houses. We'll use this road to kind of split the difference there. There we go. Um, and then I'll fill that in with something. I don't know what just yet. But we'll actually even connect those. There we go. There we go. That's, that's the Banyards. 
for now. It's random, it's haphazard, the traffic is going to be terrible, but so be it. Okay, let's actually get this, get this, you know, off the road here, so to speak. Um, okay, so this is going to be the actual, uh, if this is the mining corporation up here, let's get something, actually here, I want to start the mining corporation up here. So let's have an entrance along here that then branches off into a gravel road along there. Yeah, that works. Let's get a coal power plant, because to me that makes sense. If this is a going to be an ore mining area, they'll probably have a power plant, but I don't want the pollution from that to be covering the, the, the highway entrance way up here, so let's build it right there. There we go. I need water. Let's do a water tower in this park. Um, because that's not something I normally do. I normally just build, build off roads and whatever. Um, let's build a gravel road off to to the base of that water tower so that can be serviced if necessary. We need a water outflow, which will unfortunately have to be... <laughs> if this is where the king starts, then the outflow is of course naturally going to be in the realm of his enemies on the other side of the tracks. That I kind of like the symbolism of that. Um, so let's continue those up there. Let's connect that through there. Let's connect that through there, and boom, boom, boom. That's got most of that covered. Good. Okay. So, we also need a police station. Police station is going to be up right there. I like that. That's a fire station. Whatever police department is going to be on right there at the entrance to the mines. There we go. Let's bring some power lines out. Um, we'll start with there. We'll go across to there and then we'll start filling in some houses here and let that start to fill in. So we've got this, we've got two, we've got another two, we've got those four. No, I'm not going to build any houses right along this street, because that's where the most of the pollute is going to be. So, let's build these guys in. Nice. A couple of little lots up there. Oh, we'll do a two by one down there. There we go just filling these in, and again, I'm sorry if this takes so long, but it's just my meandering playing style, and uh, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to delete that rock eventually, but whatever. Boom. Slowly bringing the power down to the water tower. Oh, right. I'm going to need to bring power all the way out to there, which is unfortunate, but there we go. Oh, good, and everything, all the power's coming through. Good. Let us start with some commercial right along there, and put most of the commercial along this street. For now, let's build commercial along there and along there. And I don't know when this will actually start to get used, but let's put some... Let's delete that. Put some mining just along here, so that once the industrial demand does start to kick in, they can start filling in that area. There we go. 
and that's the main road out of town everything should be good but we are approaching the night time and we're also approaching the end of this video because it's been like 22 minutes which is longer than i expected so i'm sorry this episode had a lot of talk and not a lot of action but we are we've established the gloucester mining corporation the banyards the tamworth farms we've established you know kind of where this town is going to start growing off down here we've also developed pomfret castle which is nice so i'm Carhu. The Great Bear of the North. This is volume two of my Cities and Skylines series. This one is called The Bay of Avon. If you do like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment. If you have a particular play that you love and you want to see more characters, you want to see more references to those plays in this Let's Play, by all means, let me know. And this is super dark at night. Wow. Super dark at night. But that's cool. I like it. So yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching. I'm Carhu, the Great Bear of the North. I'm having fun playing this. I hope you're enjoying watching this.